Sony. CFS, W80. 39,800 yen. Double cassette type in the 30,000 yen range. It's a fully equipped machine that can receive up to 12 channels of TV audio multiplexing, but since only the necessary equipment is cleverly laid out, it should be easy to use even for music fans who aren't mechanically savvy. One of his characteristics is that he is very good at putting sounds together. The sound is just the right balance for a one-room lifestyle, and has a certain amount of power to it. Of course, since the balance as a radio cassette player is given top priority, the sound from the headphone jack has also been carefully thought out, taking into consideration the character of ordinary headphones and reinforcing the low range, which tends to be lacking. However, the characteristics of tape copies are flat. The aim is to create sources for headphone stereos and car stereos. The noise is at a standard level, but it can be considered to be of sufficient quality for a radio cassette player. Although only normal tape can be used for recording, high position tape and metal tape can also be used on the playback side, and this switching is also automatic. Even high quality tapes don't improve the high frequencies much, so if you're aiming for a good sound, I recommend a 1 1 copy using a good tape. Sony MW800 42,000 yen A Walkman that was capable of tape copying appeared. To put it in the style of a commercial, you can now duplicate tapes in your pocket. This is a scary time. In terms of size, you can think of it as a recent Walkman with just a little extra thickness. It would be easy to understand if you say that the body is equipped with a playback mechanism and a recording mechanism back to back on both sides. Copying a tape is extremely easy as all you have to do is start the playback mechanism and recording mechanism at the same time. It's a device that allows you to enjoy copying while wearing headphones. Of course, noise will be noticeable when played on a large system but the sound quality is probably sufficient for headphone stereos or popular car stereos. The included headphones are inner ear type. Perhaps because the sound production is good, you can enjoy the sound with plenty of volume. The range is not wide, but you should be able to get the information you need. If you attach the separately sold FM slash AM tuner pack to the playback only mechanism, you can also receive radio and TV 1 to 3 channels. This one unit seems to cover all small uses. Toshiba RTSW7 47,800 yen. This is a high-end double-deck radio cassette player with an upright front and soft-touch operation buttons. Three types of tape can be recorded, normal, high position, and metal, with automatic switching. It can be said that the content of this class is quite fulfilling. Deck can play, Deck 2 can record and play, and since both are auto-reverse types, copies of both sides of the tape are automatically created. Of course, auto-reverse air check is also okay. This deck is also relatively tape neutral, and even when using high-quality tape, there is no extreme increase in high frequencies. For example, if you make a 1 colon 1 copy with new tape or Maxell's URF, the sound will be flat up to 5 kHz, and after that it will slowly drop down to minus 5 dB at 10 kHz, allowing you to enjoy a natural sound that is easy to listen to. When I make a 1 colon 1 copy with Maxell's XL1, yes, the same curve extends the high range a little and improves it to about minus 2 to 3 dB at 10 kHz, but it is interesting that the high range never increases. When recording at double speed, even the URF is flat up to 10 kHz, 
while the XL1S increases the overall sensitivity by 2 dB, extending its characteristics to around 12 kHz. Double speed copying seems to have a firmer edge to the sound. Toshiba KT RS7 Waki RS7 37,800 yen This auto-reversing stereo Waki is also a very popular product. Despite being small enough to fit in the palm of your hand, it has auto-reverse recording, and also has a built-in receiver that allows you to listen to FM stereo, TV channels 1 to 3, and AM broadcasts that I can't believe it. Moreover, it has Dolby B-NR and 3-element graphic equalizer, a configuration that would have been unthinkable a few years ago. The included microphone is a stereo type, and all you have to do is plug the mini-phone type foot into the microphone terminal and set it up, and then just aim at your prey. Only two AA batteries are required. It can be a hassle to lose the cover when replacing batteries, but the hinged lid eliminates that worry. Another nice thing is that there is little noise. Even when I connect the headphone jack output to a large component, I surprisingly don't notice any noise. Of course, if you listen to it carefully, there are some parts that you may notice, but it's probably a top-class sound for this type of machine. The included headphones are also above standard, and if you have a good-sounding music tape, you can enjoy it without using graphic equalizer. It is light, weighing less than 300 G. Comes with a holder for your belt. Victor. RC, W5. 43,800 yen. A multifunctional machine that can also receive UHF. This radio cassette player is perfect for people who want to catch local broadcasts or follow sports programs. The selection switches etc. are arranged in a slightly complicated manner, but the instructions are comprehensive, so if you read it carefully, it won't be a big deal. It's nice that there is a separate page about tapes, listing tapes that can be used for playback and tapes that can be used for recording normal only. However, I feel like there is a bit of information overload overall, and I think it would be better to organize it with more clarity. The sound is narrow range but has a good cohesive sound. The dubbing ability is first class, and even with the economy type Victor Music Palette, if it is 1 colon 1, it clears 10 kHz with plus or minus zero, and is practical up to 12 to 13 kHz. The high-end root series slightly boosts the mid-high range, producing a taut sound. Even with double speed recording, it has a practical range of 7 to 8 kHz, and the noise is low, so you can probably enjoy it even with a small component. I tend to be able to make a relatively clear difference between tapes, so when I'm not satisfied with the high frequencies, it's interesting to try using a high-quality tape. It's a shame that the TV can't receive stereo reception, but its well-organized multifunctions are appealing. 